Good evening, Pat Goodwin, 2215 North 10th Street. <clears throat> I understand that um, you've probably been told that your responsibility here is the narrow scope of defining whether a piece of property is an appropriate use um, as a jail. Uh, I would challenge that notion because um, it's not just a jail. It's your jail, and it's our jail, and we're all going to have to pay for it. City police deliver 70 to 80 percent of the inmates to that jail. And moving it from its current location to the very southwest corner of the city will increase average response times or average travel times by 50 percent. Now that's on the way there, transporting the prisoner, and that's also going back to their assigned beat. That's a lot of time lost. In addition, city police will have to transport prisoners from the jail to this courtroom. That's something that obviously right now is happening by foot. But that will have to that will require a transport vehicle. And my understanding is the city police department does not currently have a vehicle such as that and does not have the staff to operate a vehicle such as that. So it is the council's responsibility to consider the cost to the citizens of Terre Haute. And it is the council's responsibility to consider the increase in response time that it will create with our city police officers. Voting yes on this is voting to increase the cost of city government while reducing the quality of city services. It's not your job to provide leadership on how the city government is supposed to operate. That's the mayor's job. But the mayor has made it clear that he does not wish to lead on this issue. And the fact that he's not here tonight is proof of that. I'm asking you all to lead on this issue. If you don't vote tonight, and I ask that you do not vote tonight, you have a month. Could you please try to bring the parties together to have a discussion about doing what is sensible for our community? And if I may approach, I have a handout. What I've just handed out is an aerial photo that has the footprint of a jail on the northwest quadrant of this government complex. We need to uh, debunk some information that has been disseminated, and that is that there's not enough room to put that jail right over there. So what I did was I put the footprint of a jail that's being built in Saginaw, Michigan, that happens to be almost exactly the same size as the jail that's being proposed on that parking lot. Saginaw, Michigan has twice as many residents as Vigo County and has a higher crime rate. So I think it's safe to say there would be no re reason for us to need a jail bigger than Saginaw. It probably ought to be smaller. But as you can see, not only will that jail fit on that property, but you could actually put it far enough into the corner that it would be significantly further away from the planned turn to the river project than the current jail is. Now, this is a multi-story building. The county up to this point has been unwilling to consider that, but if any of you went to hear the sheriff from Saginaw speak, in his opinion, a, a vertical three-story building is more efficient and can be staffed with fewer people. Now, I just want to provide that to you just so that you can say, we're not just saying no to everything. There is a good solution here. And that is to put it basically right where it is. It's fairly central, and we can do it, and it just requires cooperation between the city and the county and the city department of redevelopment who currently owns that piece of property. So in closing, I don't, I don't have an ax to grind here. I just want people to have the truth, and I want everybody to try to do what's best for the citizens of Terre Haute. Right now, I just don't think we're getting either. And I would just ask for your help over the next month to get this problem solved. Thank you.